No one wants to really know what an active shooter situation might be like, but knowing what to do could be the difference between life and death. Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini takes us inside a training session in Auburn Hills and introduces us to new ways that can help all of us be more prepared. It was a simple takeaway from this civilian training session. Action is better than no action. One of the recommendations, picking something up and throwing it. Maybe something common like a fire extinguisher you might find in public places or even just running away. The moments during an active shooter situation, confusion, panic, fear. In the past, students in the classroom were trained to take cover in this scenario. For some reason, these active shooter events, we just sit there. Historically, we just sit there. And it's a lot easier to hit something that's just sitting there. Auburn Hills Community Outreach Police Officer Brian Miller says new research shows that's not the solution. His method is statistically proven to lower casualties. Avoid the shooter if you can, deny access if you can, defend yourself if you can, take action. I tell the kindergartners when we teach this in the schools, run around screaming for all I care. It's hard to place a shot on a moving target and we don't want you to be an easy target. Don't sit and wait, don't hide. Desks don't stop bullets. Officer Miller says defend yourself with what's around you. We're allowed to do what we need to do to survive. This is the best non-lethal tool that you can find. Karen Hainline works at a nursing school and this training session appealed to her. Just with the recent events and students get upset. She feels empowered now and can imagine using techniques taught here at work or even church. Congregation grabbing a hymnal book and getting ready to throw it at somebody. You know, just as a group, just throw stuff. Just even that. So just don't do nothing. And one of these events happens, don't do nothing. Do anything you need to survive, but just make sure you do something. Obviously, no one wants to prepare for a situation like this. But the big takeaway here, being prepared is better than not being prepared. In Auburn Hills, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Brianne, thanks.